Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're gonna to talk about a few things. The first is, can I take my high blood pressure medication during the COVID-19 outbreak? The question has specifically come up about ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers are commonly used medications for high blood pressure. The question has to do with the fact that the same area that these blood pressure medications treat is also the main receptor in which the COVID-19 enters cells. So the question is whether you have an increased risk of COVID-19 when you take these medications. ACE inhibitors are often medications that end with pril, lisinopril, enalapril, and ARBs are angiotensin receptor blockers often end with artin, candesartin, and losartin. At this point, we do not have enough data to say that you should stop taking these medications and stopping your blood pressure medications is a very big deal that should never be done without discussing with your doctor. Once again, I wanna say we do not have enough evidence that any relationship with ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers increases your risk of COVID-19 complications or getting COVID-19. Please don't stop your blood pressure medications at this time. The next group of medications that are under question are NSAIDs. NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. These are things like ibuprofen, Advil, Aleve, and naproxen. There have been some anecdotal reports. That means there have been absolutely no studies, but anecdotal reports of patients with mild disease, young patients with mild disease, who then took NSAIDs, ibuprofen, and then went on to have more severe COVID-19. Once again, we just don't have enough data right now to make any recommendations. However, based on the data that I have seen, I think it would be reasonable that if you have COVID-19 symptoms and you wanna treat things like fever and pain, I would switch to Tylenol or acetaminophen at this point. I don't think it would be harmful to choose Tylenol over Advil or ibuprofen at this time until we have more data. The next thing I'd like to talk about are trials that are currently going on to treat COVID-19. There are three classes of medications that are currently being studied. The first medication is remdesivir. Remdesivir was used during the Ebola outbreak and unfortunately didn't work. Test tube and animal studies show that it works against SARS and MERS, which are also coronaviruses, but we don't have much data or any data on COVID-19 at this point. It's an IV medication, so it would be difficult to give to lots and lots of people, and studies are currently underway. We'll have more data in the future. The second group of medication has gotten a lot of press thanks to President Trump. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine are commonly used anti-malarial medications and also medications used in some rheumatological conditions. The doses that we've seen that have been effective in animal studies have been very, very high. And oftentimes we wonder if the side effects from these medications at the doses that are needed will cause us not to be able to use these medications. I must note also that these medications can cause fatal arrhythmias. I need to have a side note and say, taking medications is a big deal. Any medication that you take always has side effect. Any medications that you're currently taking has side effects. And we need to make the decision that the benefits outweigh the side effects to the medications. We don't have enough data about chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine to recommend taking this to either prevent or to treat COVID-19. So please don't hoard or go out and obtain this medication at this point. We don't know that it's effective and it can, like I said, can cause fatal heart arrhythmias in some patients. So if you have issues with heart arrhythmia, this medication could be especially dangerous for you. The third group of medication is lopinavir ritonavir, also known as Kaletra. It's currently being used in HIV treatment. Studies that have used this medication in China have not been encouraging but the studies in China that use this medication were on patients that were very, very ill. So the hope is that if we gave this medication earlier in patients with COVID-19, that would help alleviate some of their symptoms and help to prevent complications. We just don't know yet. The side effect of this medication can be liver damage. So once again, it's important to realize that there are always pros and side effects to any medications that you take. I'd like to end this episode by saying, 
The data that we're receiving on COVID-19 is changing every day. My videos try to give you the most up-to-date information, but if you're watching these videos at a later date, you may find that the data and recommendations have changed, so keep that in mind. Thanks for joining me today.